have the ears on. This this is not the ear video. All right, that's better. Okay. I've already done the ear video. Go look at that one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yes, I'm still wearing the same clothes from the Easter collaboration with the Dirty Half Dozen. Filming this part on the same day. Now, I've already posted a video that I've got that discusses what my collection of makeup is like. And I was doing that as the start of a declutter. I finished my declutter. I've got it filmed in sections. And I'm going to be putting the sections together in as reasonable a series as possible because one or two is pretty long and the rest of them are like short, just done. I mean, I've got like six, six, six face powders and I've still got them. I only had four mascaras. I've still got them. I had 42 eyeshadow palettes. I have trimmed that down. I had, I didn't even count the number of lipsticks, but I have you know, those little square lipstick holder boxes you can pick up at Dollar Tree for a buck. I had four of them full. Now I have two. So, I'm eventually also going to do my brush collection, but that's a whole nother ball of hair that we don't want to deal with right now. Anyway, I have thinned out my collection. I have discussed some of the reasons that I thinned out my collection, even though I haven't been doing this that long. I've only, I only started this the last couple of weeks of August last year. That's 2018. But when I first got started, I kept looking at the lack of collection and I went a little nuts to the point where my husband put his foot down and I had to reel myself back in and get back on my budget so and then when shop hush had their massive clear out and had, had taken stuff down already on discount and then took another 60% off at the end of, of the sale, I collected several palettes from them. Eyeshadows and highlight. And it was time to really start looking at what I was and was not using. Because I had a lot of the little palettes that I had picked up from like the dollar store, you know, LA Colors, Color Mates. I had picked up a lot of stuff from Elf because that's one of my jams anyway. You know, but it was all the little strip palettes with like 10 to 12 little pans in it. And for Christmas, I had picked up a color workshop, massive set there that had like four different long strip palettes of eyeshadow and then like four different pans of blusher and four different pans of um, bronzer and, and pencils and just stuff. 
even had nail polish. And I'm looking at all of this, and I'm realizing that I've taken a lot of the less expensive pieces and put them in a lower drawer, and I'm not touching them because I've got all this new stuff. And I'm going, I spent money on this too. It needs to either be used by me or used by somebody else who's willing to take something that's been lightly used. Luckily, my daughter-in-law decided she would take it. And some of the material that I had, especially some of the LA, the LA Colors Bold Palette is all pastels. I don't know why they call it bold. It's all pastels. However, it's perfectly suitable for my 13-year-old granddaughter. So, yeah, she just got a whole bunch of stuff, including the Ohana palette that I had just picked up. I didn't like it. I wasn't going to use it again. So it was sitting in my drawer. What am I going to do with it? Give it to my granddaughter. She thinks it's the best thing since sliced bread. She loves stitch. Anyway, that's where I am with what I've been working on. And this is going to be the second stage of my declutter. And I will have several segments. I haven't decided which ones yet, but there will be several segments of declutter and material discussion and my reasoning behind what I was keeping and what I was getting rid of. And I'm like reminding myself that I am not on a massive PR list. I'm not independently wealthy. I can't buy a house big enough to set up one whole room with nothing but either Alex components from Ikea or custom made systems or, you know, in a big studio. I'm still working with a basic webcam. I at least got off of my telephone, which comes in handy because if I need to look something up and refer to it while I'm doing a video, I've got my phone free now. You don't have to be at the top of any other beauty guru's game to be able to do, just have some fun with makeup on YouTube. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not a trained makeup artist. The most I've ever done is a little bit of basically apprentice work in high school and a little bit um, after that because I was working at a theater supply with the man I married. And he managed the theater supply. Now, he's got a degree in this stuff. Mm. But it's theater. It's effects makeup. It's not street and glam and that kind of thing. I keep feeling like I've got lipstick on my teeth, so I'm like... Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy what I've done with my collection and my declutter. Let me know. And here's the first sections. Okay. Foundation. Concealer. Primer high. That's the latest. Now, 
I'm not somebody who has a lot of foundation at this point. I just never really have collected it in any kind of quantity. I've got the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. And I've got, now this one is in 110 porcelain. I've got Elf Flawless Finish in Light Ivory. I have a doggy that wants to go outside. Little buzzard. You just went. And the Elf Foundation Serum in Light. Wet n Wild Stick Foundation in Porcelain. Wet n Wild Liquid Foundation in Shell Ivory. That's kind of my summer color. Uh, Color Pop Stick Foundation in Fair 25W, which is definitely a winter shade. And then the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable in 100 Ivory. I don't, I told you, don't got a lot of foundation. <laughs> This one's going to be quick, guys. Okay, then I have Elf Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20 Sunscreen. And this one is in light. They don't give you a lot of choices here. Now, I got that one in the wrong pile. That one goes over here. Over here, I've got my primers. I've got the new base tape from Tarte that came in the Ipsy little sample. I've got the ELF Prep and Blur stick in Sheer <coughs> which is one of my current favorites. And then I've got the ELF Beauty Shield SPF 50 skin shielding primer with a universal tint. This is, unfortunately, not one of my favorites. For one thing, it's gloppy. It's, I've shaken the tube. I've massaged the tube. I have... It's, it's cakey. It's gloppy coming out. It's cakey on the skin. Granted, it's an SPF 50, but come on, guys. If you don't want to put it on because it's so nasty feeling, what good does it do you? Really? <coughs> I've also got the um, Beauty Shield Moisturizer, which is also an SPF 50. When I'm feeling determined to wear this, I mix them. And then this flows a lot nicer. But the the universal tint, because both of it, both of them have the universal tint. They're they make a fair decent BB cream between the two of them. Yeah, once it's on, it feels silky. But like I said, it's gloppy. And mixing it with the, the, the moisturizer from the same line gives you, the, gives you an equal amount of SPF regardless of what you're do doing. So, you know, you get that 50 SPF going, there's a good thing. And then I have my concealers. I have my Wet n Wild concealer photo focus in fair neutral I have my Maybelline instant age rewind the circle dark eraser for dark circles 
treatment concealer with goji berries and all that other stuff like that there. This one is in 20 pale. And then I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25, 25 Hour Breathable in 001 Light Ivory that goes kind of with the, the foundation. Lastly, I've got an e.l.f. concealer palette, which also has all the color correcting stuff. So, you know, you've got all of your color correctors, so you can, like, then paint yourself the right color if, it, if you're not otherwise already there. I use the yellow under my eyes once in a while, but I haven't used this in a long time because it's a pain in the butt I mean you've got these little bitty pans and they give you this little bitty brush and yeah I've used it a lot I have used quite a bit of it the, the yellow is almost at pan the pink is at pan but the rest of, that's the reason I stopped looking for little palettes like this because you use one or two pieces and the rest of it just kind of goes to waste so this one at this point I'm getting rid of the rest of it I'm pretty much not I'm thinking about getting rid of the fit me the fit me gets on my nerve not only does it get on my nerve because of this, no pump, no doe foot, nothing, but it doesn't stay on my skin very well. It just really doesn't. And it's like, it's got SPF 18, it's supposedly normal to dry, and it just it breaks, it creases up, it cracks up, it peels off around my nose. I can't get it to sit on the tip of my nose. I got dry skin. Why is this not sticking? Explain that one to me. Anyway, I am probably going to see if this will work for my daughter-in-law. My granddaughter doesn't really need foundation at this point. She's only 13 and got skin like a peach. Rat. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Like I said, this one's short. I'm keeping all the rest of the stuff because there's really not that much. And I'm almost finished with the Wet n Wild. I'm almost finished with the the Elf Flawless. So, yeah, and I keep replacing my um, tinted moisturizer from Elf just because it works really well for a slap on. Let's go. It's got a little better sunscreen than a couple of others, but you know, it works really well for a just even the skin tone on slap it on, let's go kind of situation. And besides, if I'm out in the sun a lot, especially if I'm like going swimming or something, I can just put it back on. It's easy. Anyway, the doggy is ringing and this one's done. <laughs> Okay, this is another one that is pretty dang short in comparison to anything else that I've got left, which is, you probably can guess, is going to be the eyeshadows, because I'm an eyeshadow nut. Anyway, it's just basic powders for the most part. This is the only one that is not a basic. This one... 
is a ghost sculpt set that came from Makeup Revolution and from Pink Sweets. Ta -da! Yes, I've got it in my regular powders. I don't know why. I just do. And no, I'm not getting rid of my effects makeup. Not doing it. Also got a small bottle of banana powder that I picked up. And even though it says it's luxury powder, I'm not so sure that it's luxury. It is so brightly yellow on my skin that it just, it it's wrong. <laughs> the bottle is a little bit frosted, but it is just too brightly yellow on my skin. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to set it over there. Maybelline. Light 01 Shine Free Loose Powder. Yup. I've gone through quite a bit of it, but there's still quite a bit left. It's a good basic loose powder. And I, I don't have loads and loads and loads of loose powder, as we can tell. These are my other loose powders. I have Soft Light and translucent from AOA Studio. The soft light is almost the same color as the Maybelline. Almost. And then the translucent, which looks a whole lot like some of the HD powders. But at a buck, I'm not arguing. I also have the pressed powder version of the AOA. in the translucent. Now, from e.l.f. I have the e.l.f. blotting powder. Why? I don't know. It just seemed to be something that climbed into my shopping basket. I have two, count them, two of the e.l.f. translucent compacts in this form. One of which is yet again another thing that Elf sent me. It's still got the plastic on it. I snatched the, the, the little sponge. Yeah, well. But this one, it's not been touched at all. This one's going over here in this pile for the daughter-in-law. All righty. Project Pan Strikes Again, Elf Powder Basic Face Powder, the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder, and it's basically just light powder. It's great. It works great with a brush. It's absolutely wonderful. Yet again, another Prime and Stay Elf Finishing Powder that has never been touched. We'll just put that right over there out of the way. And then we have my last powder, which is a Wet and Wild Pressed Powder Compact. Yes, Project Pan people should be very, very proud of me. I've got a real dent in this one and the elf over here. And I've put a serious dent into my Maybelline. So, yeah, again, this is a very short one. And that's it for powders. I've got a few loose powders, some pressed powders, and an effect powder. There you go. I'm keeping what I still have here in this set section. The rest of the stuff is up, going to be up for grabs if my daughter-in-law wants it. And if not, we'll find out if anybody else does. Anyway, the last segment that I do is going to be 
my um, eyeshadows and that's going to take me a few minutes might even be a separate video we'll find out okay this is the blushers and the highlights and the bronzers and the contour and that kind of stuff now this little box here is all my cream this is all the creams everything all every this is my little cream elf palette and contour stick and the bronzer that kind of stuff i'm not getting rid of any of the cream stuff i'm just no. <laughs> i don't have that much really to go through anyhow i've got a bunch of blushers and a bunch of contour now this is my elf contour palette and it's kind of contour and bronzer and it's nifty and I'm keeping it even though I've got this whole stack here of stuff that I use for bronzers this is from Malibu Glitz that I picked up through Shop AOA or Shop Miss A depending on how you want to talk about it this is Malibu Glitz and technically it's a blush technically it's called Champagne one of my favorites this is technically a blush this is called Koi, and it's from e.l.f., technically a blush. It For a blush, it makes a great bronzer. AOA Studio had a special on their little multicolor bronzer. I picked one up for the heck of it. This one is called the Moonstone Bronzer. Yes, I wrote it on the back of the little box. Beauty Benefit Hollywood. Little bronzer. Got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Wet and Wild Bronzer. Ticket to Brazil. Now, I don't like bronzers at all. Why do you ask? And this one that even though it's listed as the contour palette, this is the Wet n Wild Dolce de Leche contour palette. However, this makes a much better bronzer than it does a contour, at least on me. Now, the one thing that I have a problem with, with all of this stuff, is that I have also this profusion palette that I picked up during the holidays because it was five bucks on the holidays and it's got everything four different color blushers two bronzers and two contours I've got way too much of everything this I believe is going to be going to my daughter-in-law now the actual blushes not so much on the actual blushes i have a wet and wild believe it or not this corally color is called 
Let's see, where'd it go? Oh, yeah. Pearlescent pink. Pearlescent pink. It's coral. <laughs> okay, this one from e.l.f. Which is definitely a pink. This one is just called blushing. Don't you love it? AOA Studio, their Lumi Bronzer, Lumi Blush line. This one is called Delicate Pink. Now this is one of the marbles, and it's gorgeous. It really is. It's gorgeous. I love this one. This one is another Malibu Glitz piece that I picked up through AOA. It's just called Blusher, and it's got a number. And it's probably the darkest blusher that I have. But it comes out pretty light, and it's not a bad shade. I will probably get rid of one or two of the bronzers out of this stack. Which ones precisely? I'm not sure. However, this is the big stack. Now, this is technically called a highlighter. It's called Glow. It's from e.l.f. I got this as a freebie. It's pretty, but it's really kind of dark on me. And my daughter-in-law is lighter. So, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this one. But, I think that one's going to be going away. I've got Wet n Wild, and this one is Golden Flower Crown, which is absolutely stunning, and is still pretty much brand new. It's going nowhere. I have the Elf Moonlight Pearls twice. Again, Elf gave me a present. If you order enough stuff, they occasionally put little bits and bobs in with your order. I already had this one. And it has had some fair use. It's kind of bunged up and all that. This one's brand new. Haven't touched it. I think I'm going to put that one with the stuff going to my daughter-in-law. Now, I've got this one. This is a Revolution piece. And it's a gorgeous blue shift that came to me from Pink Sweets when I got my Morphe palette. She sent me quite a few different things. And I'm not ready to give this up yet. I'm just not. This one's called um, Star Kiss. Which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Now this one is it's called Miss Rose. It's one of those ones that you can find kind of oddball floating around on to on Amazon. And it's it's just pretty. It's a slightly champagne, slightly pink. And it's gorgeous on. And I just got it. As a matter of fact, I just got that one just before my first Ipsy bag got here and handed me the Ofra. 
and they're kind of similar this one's more gold that one's more of a pink but yeah they're still brand new not getting rid of them this is a couple that's in a little high, little pack from LA Colors pink blue gold they are crumbly as hoo hoo they're pretty they're intense but they're crumbly I'm still deciding on this one but I've had it a long time and I rarely reach for it so that's going over here now because shop hush had their big going out of business sale that they didn't call a going out of business sale I picked up two face candy palettes I got mermaid glow and then I also got unicorn glow so I have highlights coming out my ears I really do problem is most of the highlighter stuff is stuff that I just got for the most part even though a lot of it's very similar colors and I'm not ready to give up this pile of highlighter over here I will probably be getting rid of a couple more pieces out of this one with the bronzer pile partially because Koi from ELF is sparkly I'm not real big on necessarily having sparkly bronzer the rest of them yeah are pretty much staying where they are at least for this round this is just the first round of ever doing this I have very few blushers I think they're staying anyway for this bit of stuff that's pretty much it I've got the big palette from profusion that I'm giving to my daughter-in-law the brand new elf that they sent me to my daughter-in-law and probably at least let her see the rest of these that I'm not interested in necessarily keeping but yeah not a lot is going out but that's pretty much it for this round more than likely the next time I do this there will be a lot more being shifted out and going away no promises but there you go all right that was my first sections and if you have any questions or have any comments just leave something in the box below just go ahead and make comments I don't care if they're they're happy comments or not at this point just talk ask me anything you want to ask me I don't guarantee to answer if it's something rude but if you like what I did if you want to understand more about why I've decided I don't necessarily have to have everything on the shelf I don't need every brand new release then let's talk about it I will be putting the rest of the collection up as I get the first ones edited and posted and figure out which ones are going when they will all be listed as part of my declutter and declutter and in stages just remember I'm on a budget I don't have bail money. Be good.